Okay, so we just bought this bike today, rode it home, and we're doing the Rottweiler intake kit on it. And we wanted to check the factory air intake and see if how they cut these out like this, if it causes a gap. Okay, you can see right here, there's already a right, gap. Right here in the slit. Look, you can shove see? that right in there from the factory. That's so, wide open. So all this has to do, they say, you know, with a little heat and writing, these yeah. things constrict. Look at this one. Within we haven't touched this. Look, look at the hole there. Look at this gap here. There's a gap right there from the factory. So it's sucking air right in there. And the filter's way back over here. Look how crappy the seal is around this though. I'm just barely pushing on that. Look at the, look at the rim. Look at that. It doesn't take any flexing at all for that to just be wide open. That's ridiculous, man. That should have been fixed years ago. So that's probably the reason why everybody's, you know, I, I think that has to do with the camware and everything. I it's think it is. Dust in there. I think it is. You're, you're pulling that stuff in there and man, oh man. What they really should have done when they designed this, they should have made a much bigger flange and they don't need this. You know, if you're going to do that, put two tabs out here and have an outer piece on the the rubber that just sits in there. Don't cut away from it because you're taking away from the seal. And there's that's where all the dirt's getting in, man. It goes right in that hole. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do before this bike is even ridden in the dirt, it got rode home on the street. Yep. We're going to take sealant. We're putting in the Rottweiler box. But we're going to take a sealant and put it around there. Yep, we are. Which we done on my bike when I got it two weeks ago. So there it is. Well, there's your... Bob's your uncle. <laughs>